This morning in Health Watch, a 14-year-old girl's new heart. In July, Dejana Simmons had a heart transplant that didn't work. So doctors kept her alive with an artificial heart until her second heart transplant last month. Joining us this morning is Dejana, her mom, Twala Anderson, as well as her doctor, Marco Ricci. They're at Holtz Children's Hospital in Miami. Good morning to the three of you. Good morning. Good morning. Dejana, you look well. Do you feel well after your transplant? Yes, ma'am. Tell me what you were thinking while you were hooked up to that artificial heart waiting for this transplant. Um, I felt like I was a fake person. Like, I really, like, didn't exist. It was, everything was fake. You felt like you were a fake person. So what, what kept you going? Are you a positive thinker? Did you feel like everything would be okay? Yes, ma'am. What did it feel like, physically, to have an artificial heart? Mm, it felt like people kept continuously, like, making noises inside, inside of you because the machine made noises. Did you ever get to the point where you were scared that this wouldn't work out? Did you ever feel that sick? Yes, ma'am. You waited 118 days, and here's where I would like to bring in your mom, Twala. She finally got the heart transplant after 118 days, but what were those days, what were those months like for you, Twala? They were very long, hard, and stressful. It's like she say, listen to the machine, and the machine is what's keeping her here, beating for her. It's day to day, you didn't know what to expect or what to think. As we, as we look at some video, it, it's remarkable that doctors invented a device like this. Dr. Ricci, you and your team are responsible for this. Can you tell us quickly, in layman's term, how you pulled this off? How does this work? Well, this was a very difficult situation. We actually uh, did the first transplant on the Zana at the beginning of July, and unfortunately we had a rare complication of a, of a heart transplant operation in which the new heart did not work. So we were sort of left in a bind. and. Uh, for a variety of reasons, including the fact that the uh, new heart, which wasn't working, developed a large clot in one of the ventricles, one of the pumping chambers, we had no choice but taking the heart out, which was not viable, and uh, we had to bridge her over to a second transplant, and we decided to use a machine that is commercially available, which was implanted uh, in the Zana's chest and kept her alive for almost four months. Wow. The first two months were quite difficult because she was very sick, but then mm -hmm. she recovered and we were eventually able to proceed with the second heart transplant operation. Well, thank goodness that you are doing so well. Dejana, Twala, Dr. Ricci, thank you all for your time.